Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am actually going to be talking about backup and restore. What I mean by that is basically what what can you do when you basically lose or when you when something happens to the Kubernetes resources in your Kubernetes cluster? How do you like do the backups proactively and how can you actually use those backups to restore your Kubernetes cluster or at least the resources, right? So, so what I'm gonna do is basically just follow uh, these steps actually. One, the first thing is I'm gonna do a backup, then I'm gonna just destroy some resources in my Kubernetes cluster, then I'm gonna try and restore and believe it or not, it's very simple. Uh, before going into the demo, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I actually talk about Kubernetes a lot these days. I also cover, um, I also plan to cover a lot of DevOps topics. So with that said, actually, let's jump into the demo. So I am actually logged into my Kubernetes cluster. This is my very own Kubernetes cluster. I have actually created on AWS. Uh, I just used kubeadm to actually create this cluster. If you are uh, wondering about uh, the nodes in this cluster, I have a couple of nodes. I have two nodes actually, two worker nodes and one master node. So and this is all fine. Let me show you all the, the pods that are currently running in the default namespace. So I have three pods actually. I've, you probably seen my previous vid uh, videos and I've created these pods for those videos. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically um, I'm going to run a backup first uh, and I'm actually logged on logged into the master node which is this node which I just showed you my control plane slash master node and this is the version that I'm currently running so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, my sublime text and then these are basically the commands I'm going to run and before jumping into running this command, which is uh, basically a HCD cartel utility. Um, so I want to actually just talk about like how you get this HCD cartel, right? If you have, if you're running your own cluster, uh, first of all, if you are running EKS, which is like a service that's offered by AWS, they might be taking care of snapshots and backups and whatnot. So this is mostly for people who run their own Kubernetes clusters. Um, so how do you get HCD CTL, right? So you need to actually download it from a certain repo. Uh, I was actually surprised by the fact that it doesn't come along with uh, the kubeadm Kubernetes installation. So I had to actually like use this wget utility to download it from a certain link. And once I downloaded a certain a tarball, I had to like untar it and then basically move this HCD cuttle to my user local bin. And then basically that gave me the HCD cuddle utility. And that's what we're gonna use to actually um, do the backup and restore. So first thing I'm gonna do is basically uh, run this export uh, command, which is gonna ha basically help me to use the the version three, HCD cuddle version three. Uh, I think that the commands that I'm gonna run those are basically for uh, version three. Uh, the prior versions actually, in the prior version that these commands might not work. Okay, so that said actually, so the command for backup is, is quite simple. And if you're wondering what are we backing up, we're basically backing up the HCD database, uh, which I can just quickly show you. It's actually running in Kube system namespace. And one of your, um, one of your pods is basically this HCD database. That's where all the metadata is actually uh, persisted. So, so if you take a backup of this database and if you restore this database uh, at any point, um, you know you might need to. Uh, basically, you will you will get most of the resources back. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run that command but I'm gonna make a couple of ch uh, changes actually. First thing is I want to change the name of my backup. So I'm gonna just uh, like add a two over here. So basically I'm giving a path where the snapshot file is gonna land. And you have um, all these things actually, and I'll show you where to get this from. 
First of all, remember uh, I showed you this HCD master pod. So this pod is actually like a static pod. And I have a very uh, nice post, a blog post, and uh, I have a, a great video on static pods. Feel free to check that out. But the way you find static pods is by actually, uh, you recognize static pods is by looking at the, the suffix. In this case, it says master. Master is the name of my control plane node. Okay, so HCD master. So that means basically these pods are created by Kubelet that's running on this node. And the Kubelet manifests are usually in this uh, directory. HCD, sorry, HC Kubernetes manifests. And then if you go in here, you will see a bunch of YAML files. And you'll see one for the HCD database so i'm just gonna do a uh, more on that and you'll see that like basically the these these are the but this is the yaml file and this is the yaml file that kubelet used to create the hcd database and there's a bunch of uh, there's a huge command that actually gets executed once the, the pod gets created right so this command basically gives you all the details that you need like for example uh, you need to provide the endpoint, which is here. So you can either use, uh, you know, use either of these endpoints. So I just got the, the loopback IP 127.0.0.1. And then I just plugged it in here. And then this one is basically the, the CS cert and a server cert and key. And you can find all that over here. So you can like, you can just pop you know, just, just identify those certificate files. And then finally, the name of the backup itself, right? So I'm gonna run this command. So basically it's a snapshot save command. And uh, did I already run the export? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna run it here. And that's basically gonna take a backup. And I don't have much running. It's not a huge database. so. It took the backup really fast. So I can just do a list on it. And that shows that backup was taken successfully. Okay, so now uh, what I can do is, uh, as I showed you before, I have a bunch of pods running here. I can basically delete these pods. And so I deleted these pods. So now, if I run this kubectl command, there's no pods. So this is basically the second step where we are causing some damages to my cluster. So we, let's say someone accidentally destroyed your pod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this restore command and, and the restore command is basically going to restore the, the data files from this backup this backup over here and the command for that restore is pretty simple. It's snapshot restore and then data directory. So I'll come back to this. So if you actually uh, look at your HCD YAML file again, there's a in the command which is used to actually start the HCD database inside the HCD pod, uh, you have you have to provide the data directory. So the data directory that's actually being used is var lib etcd, and then this is actually a volume mount. So let me show you actually. So let me go back to this etc Kubernetes manifest, and if I go into the etcd YAML, and all the way down here, you can see that basically uh, we're using the host path option to actually mount uh, one of the, the host uh, directories as a volume uh, onto this container actually over here. So basically this is the path. So what I'm gonna do is um, first run the restore, right? I'm gonna run the restore, which is gonna restore uh, my data files into this directory, right? I just added a dash two so let me run this. Okay, and then just to check, you can actually do a list on this. 
and you'll see something called a memory so that's a directory if you're curious actually what else is in here you can do a, a recursive list so there's a bunch of snaps and dot while and db and whatnot so we don't need to go into the details of this hcd data base or data files so what i can do is basically um now just take this directory and i'm going to go into my uh, hcd yaml file i'm going to go all the way down here i'm going to uh, so the, we have mounted a couple of volumes so all I need to do is add this dash 2 which is the new directory where my data files are restored and um, basically I'm going to take uh, so that is actually named as hcd data right so and then I'm going to use the hcd volume and I'm going to mount it to this part I'm going to mount it to the same directory inside the container. So that's all good. We don't need to change any of that. So save and come out. Now the kubelet process which is running on this node is going to pick up the change. So how do I actually know whether it's uh, it's happening, whether the kubelet is actually doing the changes? So for example, for example if I run this kubectl command now, basically it's going to hang a little bit. That means actually there's like uh, some changes, some underlying changes are happening. Kubelet is actually picking up the change uh, that we did to this uh, YAML file, this HCD YAML file. And it's going to recreate the, the HCD pod. Uh, now what will happen is basically it, the command comes back and you see that the pods have been recreated. So we have successfully re uh, restored the resources that we actually destroyed using the snapshot or the backup that we took just before that. That's pretty much it actually. So HCD Cuddle is a simple uh, utility that we can use for backup and restore and uh, that's, that's basically it. I hope you found this useful and have you subscribed yet? If not, please subscribe and uh, leave a like or comment whatever you wish. Thank you. Bye.